Hey guys, this is Steve from Orlando Club. Uh -huh. Love those lovely, lovely legs, Otherwise mama. Known as OCD, of course. Um, bringing you day two Mayacon haul and a couple more mystery boxes to open up. I promise you guys, I'm doing mystery boxes for the for all four days straight um, from different companies that are out there. But today for us for Megacon, it was all about getting signatures from a couple different people that we like with our comic books. Um, so we will start. Well, I will start. My main thing I wanted to see, I, who I want to meet, was Scotty Young. He does the I Hate Fairyland. Um, and he's done some Marvel covers and everything. He, he's very popular. So... I got him to sign actually a lot of my stuff today. I even got him to do the free comic book day, I Hate Image, which was awesome. He even got a chuckle out of that one. Yeah, Raymond, that Deadpool is awesome. I actually got that signed by the colorist, Jeff Balk. So, and he was even telling me that this Deadpool is the very first one, so it's actually kind of rare to get this one. So, I was actually happy that I actually had this. I, I stayed up until 1.30 at night going through all my comics just to find this so I could have him sign it. Um, back to Scotty Young. I had Scotty Young sign, like I said, a lot of stuff. I won't show you the variant copies that Scotty has because they're not safe for kids, but uh, if you know Scotty Young in the I Hate Fairyland, you also know his uh, variant copies. Let's see, I got a couple more. This is just a print of the cover, and this is the actual cover of the comic, but I got him to sign those. My, my big thing, I actually went out of my way to get him to sign my poster of I Hate Fairyland, which is sweet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to frame this thing up and put it up in our OCD room. So that was my, my, my stint with Scotty Young. He was, uh, there was a wait to get in his line, but he was well worth the wait. Um, now going back to Jeff Falk. Not only did he uh, do all the coloring for Deadpool, I also picked these up from him. Because everybody knows I love my turtles. So I got a whole set of turtles from him. And of course he signed all of them for me. Really great guy, local guy. If you get a chance to go to MegaCon this weekend, I really suggest you go uh, meet up with him. Now, uh, I'm also going to go over to another local duo that we have. Um, you've seen Roland Mann many times on our page. This is one of the comics he did. And his partner that worked on this with him, Diana. Harold, she was actually there, so we actually got to get this signed by her today. We've had it signed by Roland. It was kind of nice to meet Diana, and uh, finally, Roland just talks her up so much, so it was nice to, like I said, meet her. This is uh, their comic that they did together. Like I said, they're local here. Pick these guys up. It's a great comic. Now, Trish was in, in Heaven. Because she got to meet Dan Parent. Dan Parent is, uh, we showed you Die Kitty Die yesterday. Well, this is the sketch cover he did for Trish from Die Kitty Die, one of the characters. So she got that from him. She also got to have a couple selfies. He also worked on Archie vs. Predator. So, Trish got him to be able to sign. It's uh, Dan Parent. Um, uh, 
Fernando Ruiz and Giselle Lagos. So she got to meet all three of those today, got them to sign a couple of her books. She was in heaven. I sent her over to get a, a bag and board for uh, the sketch cover, and she never showed back up. But we got them to sign this one too, this is Kevin Keller. And we also got them to sign our Life with Archie, The Death of Archie. So we got all those. And I want to do a special shout out to Lee from Living Dead Comics. Because he gave me this uh, great case to store the comics. Cause, uh, and this was his only one, but he, he let me have it. So I could go get these signed and I, they wouldn't get ruined. So once again, that's from Living Dead Comics. Go check them out. They're our local comic book store. You know, we love them to death. And this just proves why. Because he didn't have to do this, but he knew it meant a lot to me to get this done. Okay, now Kelsey, she got, some of you guys might know what this is. I had to learn about it today. It's a love those lovely, lovely legs, mama. And... When she told us to go pick her up an F-bomb, I was getting ready to cuss at her. Because that's what an F-bomb is. But no. This is actually from a webcomic, Cyanide and Happiness. So Kelsey was so ecstatic that we got to be able to get this for her. And see, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw it at her too. Because you know I like throwing stuff at Kelsey. Then, since Kelsey was working, because she was working at Megacon, um... They, they don't get a lot of time to go see a lot of people. Well, we got to meet Yaya Han. And we got Kelsey this. It's, uh, let me see if I can take it out of the pack. Get a better lighting on it. This is autographed from Yaya Han as Chun Li. It's autographed to Kelsey. Um, Trish and Kelsey both got to get a selfie with her or pictures taken. You've probably seen the Trish one on our webpage already. But Kelsey got out with enough time that she was able to run over to Yaya and get a, a picture with her. So she is excited. Uh, now, we had to stop back by Fugitive Toys because, you know, when it comes to Pops, I can't leave them alone. So we were able to uh, stop by Fugitive Toys. Get a couple more flashes that'll help complete our set. We're only down to a couple left. But we got the Fugitive Exclusive, the Black Flash, and then we got the Reverse Flash, the original Reverse Flash. So we were happy to pick those up from Fugitive Toys. And then I told you guys about it yesterday, the JMD um, Toys Pop Machine. I, I, I can't ever pass that up. Well, I did it twice today. And each time I got the specialty series. The first one I got was Harry Monster, which goes good because he uh, actually goes good with our Muppet collection. Somebody's dropping the light over there. Yeah. And then we also got the specialty series. Trap Jaw, which is one that I've been wanting. Because it goes with my He-Man collection. Oh, look at that. That's so much better. Turn on some lights so we can see. So there's the Hairy Monster. And there is Trap Jaw. So, once again, JMD's uh, pop vending machine, which is awesome. I just can't say enough about it. Now, we will go over to what you guys really want to see. Oh, this is a heavy one. I might do this one last. This is from... Uh, I gotta see. I can't even remember who it is. UCC um, Distributing or Distribution. Never seen them before, but they do a lot of mystery boxes. As you see, this one is a Rubik's Cube. And... They, they, they were upset with me last night because I went with somebody else's mystery boxes. I promised them I'd do them today. So, 
and I, they were happy that I actually did come back. So, open it. Oh my gosh, they actually have a lot of stuff. I'm going to put this over into the chair like I did last night, just because there is so much stuff. We're going to start with an Angry Birds felt hat. That, that is actually kind of cool. I want to see you wear that, too. There we go. How, how about that? Should I make this my new hat, guys? Ah, and then we got a mustache for all the cosplayers in the world. Kelsey is already asking for this thing. So I will, I don't know. I, I, pink is my color, though. Okay, so Kelsey's already yelling at me for this thing. Okay, we got a Sonic Mystery Mini thing. So, of course, you know I always open them. And it's a Sonic keychain, just normal old Sonic. So set that there. Let's see. Oh, this this is for Kelsey. Got a Hello Kitty lanyard. Kelsey um, has to live with the fact that she uh, showed us a Hello Kitty video one time, and from then on, we've said that she loves Hello Kitty. I didn't know if I actually showed that to you guys very much. It is a little chain thingy. Uh, Mega Man Mystery Mini. Ooh, I'm liking the bottom of this box too. When they say that they they uh, they they put money into these, they put money into these. Got Napalm Man, another little keychain thing. That's cool. We actually love us some Mega Man. Another Sonic one. Hey, you never know. Oh, uh, this is Sonic actually running. So we got him standing still, and we got Sonic running. That's actually boom. That's how fast he is. Boom. There he goes. Ah. Okay. Enough of me being stupid. Let's see, we got the Hobbit dog tag. That's our dinner showing up, guys. So, Hobbit dog tags. Then we got the DC Comics rockers. We'll open that up so you can see. Didn't think my dinner would be here that quick. See what we got there is a chase version we actually have a chase version but that's a joker but this one's a riddler i don't think we have riddler so this will be a nice addition to our collection and these things are so cool they're they're like we will wobble but they don't fall down we okay now these mystery boxes guys they're $35 a piece or two for 50. So I went with the two for 50 because you guys know I am always after a deal. We got Lord of the Rings trading card game. That's awesome. Go along with our Hobbit uh, dog tags. Hey Jake, how you doing tonight? Can't wait to see you on Sunday. We got a little fear from inside out, a little plushie. This is kind of cute. Ah. No going to school today. They're all going to laugh at us. I'm not going to pull that out until it gets closer. Oh, here we go. We got a uh, Twilight New Moon keychain charm thingy. I'm sure we can find somebody who loves Twilight. 
I just have a problem with vampires that sparkle. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. It's just my vampires blow up in uh, in in the sun. Now, Kelsey, we got an alpaca, a green alpaca, <laughs> cute and curly. Love those lovely, lovely legs, Mama. This, this he's actually really cool. <laughs> An alpaca. Kelsey, catch an alpaca. Now, what I saw in, in, in the side that I always like, we got true blood. We got some pops down here. We got true blood, Eric Northman. And you know I'm all about pops, and I didn't even know there was pops in this box. That is so cool. True blood, <laughs> Suki Stackhouse. We got Breaking Bad, Hank Schrader. Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. I'm telling you guys, this, these guys, their mystery box are worth it. I might, I might end up getting me a couple more just to have on the side. And then Breakfast Club, we got Claire from the Breakfast Club. Well, Chris is happy because she didn't get the whole set. So, that is awesome. That's just that's just the first box, guys. That is just cool. That was crazy. That, that is way worth your money. If you're going for mystery boxes so far, this one is worth your money at $35 a piece or two for 50 Now, we're going to open up the other one, which is the heavy one. Uh, Raymond, this is UCC distribution. Um, I'm going to do a little more re research on them because um, I guess they're popular with their mystery boxes. So once I find out more, I'm going to get them tagged and I'll get them out to you guys. Because like I said, this is one of the best that I, I've come across in a long time. Okay, let's see. We got... Some Yo Gabba Gabba trading cards. I'm going to move this so I have room. Got actually pretty cool. Uh, 70 pack card holding sleeves. I mean, it holds 630 cards. So. I actually have some of my superhero cards and stuff that would actually this would actually work really good with. Oh, we got a shirt, an extra large. Oh, Cutter's gonna love it. <laughs> good thing it's in his size. How do we how do we get two Minecraft <laughs> shirts in the same weekend? <clears throat> But this one looks like it, it's for a, a kid, so I'm sure we can find a giveaway or something for this. Or maybe, like Kelsey brought up uh, last night, uh, if these people who YouTube ever show up, we can have them sign it and then we'll, we'll uh, frame it and keep them. Haha, <laughs> this is cool. Pac-Man plushie. Nom 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 nom. Oh look, it's in my head. See my hat cutter? That's glad. But that is cool. Seriously, that is awesome. That is cool. Well, Pac-Man is a nice guy. He's not a monster. Sorry, pixels. Okay. Oh, man, this thing is loaded. I actually got two of them. Oh, that was louder. <laughs> Somebody wants it. Okay, enough. I'm playing too much. Waka waka. <laughs> Let's see. Overwatch. Looks like we got Overwatch poster. Open it up, see which one.
haven't really played Overwatch yet. Oh, I actually get a couple out of it. So, get one, it looks like, with the whole crew of Overwatch. That's actually kind of cool. And then, get this one. What's her name? Tracer. Tracer. Okay. See, I, I don't know. But that's kind of cool. Get a Phillips River pop from San Diego Chargers, which is cool. I mean, I'm, I'm loaded down with pops today. That is awesome. I don't want to set it up there. It'll fall. Oh, okay. I know usually I pull them out without looking, but... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 3D Puzzle. Gotta love that. Go up on my turtle shelf. I don't know if you guys can see it moving, but... Love those lovely, lovely legs, Mama! Uh, Sally and Mater Mini Adventures from Cars. That's actually kind of cool. Cars 3 coming up. This is from the original... And anything from Disney, everybody loves from Disney. What is this? It's a squinky. I don't know what a squinky is. They look like little babies in... in. I don't know. I'm going to have to open it just to see what a squinky is. And if you guys don't know what a squinky is, you will tonight. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, Squeaky's come. Looks like with trading cards. With little things to do on the back of the trading cards. A little pop-out little little pop-out thing you can give you instructions and then there's a baby in a ball so let's open up a baby in a ball at least it's not out in the heat can't get in trouble and he's even playing with a little car there's that one And then there's a little kitty. Okay, let's see. There's lots of stuff in this one. Hey, one of Cutter's favorite things. We got a My Little Pony. Because Cutter is a brony. He's just a closet brony. Which one is this one, Cutter? Twilight? Okay. Twilight Princess, he even knows. <laughs> uh, we got uh, Jack Skellington, little thing. It's actually kind of cool. Adventure Time earbuds. Everybody likes Adventure Time. The baby. Oh, no, eat the baby. Sorry. Oh man, uh, because he's been a pain in my butt all weekend, so that's why I call him out. Love those lovely, lovely legs, Mama. Raymond's asking why I'm calling you out. Oh, look, got another one. Cutter's gonna be happy. Two for the price of one. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh. Maybe I should wait to do this one because Kelsey's eyes are going to pop out of her head. Steven Universe plushy key ring type thing. Look, oh, if you can see her head, oh yeah, she's popping out. So let's open it. I bet you she either wants a lion or a cookie cat. Which one? And you got a bag. Oh, look at the. What's your guess, Kelsey? 
and you would be wrong. Garnet. It's garnet, and it's a plushie. It's actually pretty nice. And if you guys know Steven Universe, this is actually kind of cool. I like garnet. I like Steven Universe. It actually has a good story behind it. There you go. She's already begging for it. Okay. Let's see. Got a Walgreens exclusive Tyron Lannister figurine. That's a from the Legacy Collection, which is cool. Pretty sad that I know it's a Walgreens exclusive, but I do know that. But that's why I'm a collector, because I know that kind of stuff. I just don't know what a squinky is and stuff. Okay? So guess what? I got more squinkies. But these ones are different. I'll show you guys. Let's see. Actually, these ones actually look cooler than the other ones because they're not so babyfied. You got dinosaurs and aliens and monsters. You got some cool stuff in this. You are robots. So we got some cool squinkies in this one. See, they're just so happy they already came out of their plastic shell. So let's see what we got. We got a football player. Pac-Man needs more food. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, we got a cool alien in his in his UFO. These things are so tiny. We still got a lot of stuff in here, guys. I'll do the stuff that I don't have to open. We got Joy from Inside Out little figurine and actually I'm just gonna show you I got like three of them we got like three joys so anybody likes inside out make that four joys my box is full joy I knew that was coming oh cutter Another one. That's three. Three times the happiness, dude. Okay. Let's see. We got cell, cell phone charms. DC edition. So we'll open these up. Yeah, there's a Wonder Woman one, maybe. I heard me. Do 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 Superman. Yep. But guess what? We have a second one. Yay! So you still have a chance for a Wonder Woman. Ah. No, we got the boy blunder. We got Mr. Robin. Well, that's cool because there's been so many Robins. Robin is the most versatile character there is in the DC universe. You can keep killing him and he keeps coming back. Got more of these uh, rocker things. So let's open these up real quick. Didn't we get some of those before? Yeah, we got some of these before. There's actually a chase one. We actually have the chase. Oh, yeah, that's right. Become an original minis fan. Oh, Cutter's gonna like this one. I don't think we have this one either. We got the Flash. That is cool. thinking the only thing one we're missing I believe is actually Superman I think we even got the Batman 
and we'll press your fingers. Yeah, we got the Batman cutter to show me. Uh, another Harley Quinn. We have like three of these now. <coughs> Run around room on the table. Like I said, guys, these are some good mystery boxes. This one is Batman. So I'm almost so close to completing my set. Only missing one to complete our set. Okay. Now, this is what Cutter's going to like. I got me some Dragon Balls. I got me lots of Dragon Balls. I don't have seven, so I can't make a wish. That's the only thing that sucks. Cutter, can you hold that open? Thank you. I gotta make some room. Make some room. That's what you guys want to see me do is just throw my trash away, right? Okay, so let's see. Dragon Balls. They all got different. We got three star, five star, and two four stars. So, Frieza. See, I, I'm close. I, I know it's Dragon Ball. So we got a Frieza. It's red eyed Frieza. Yeah. Not golden red eyed Frieza, but. Yeah, I tell you, when it comes to my pops, I know them better, but. Okay. I'm sorry, I love those. Those are mine. Nobody touches those. Better hide from Evo. If they end up on the floor where the dog gets to them, I'm going to kill somebody. Three star. I know there's a chocolate one in the, in the, in the, um, Pops. Majin Buu. Majin Buu. But there's a chocolate one in Pops. That chocolate one's a Dragon Con exclusive. I know my, I know my Pops. They're actually from Funimation. That's cool. There we go. Four star. Cool. Ah, oh, we got Super Saiyan. Ah, it's over nine thousand. It's uh, Gohan. Yeah, it's Gohan. Ah, see, I got one right. It's Gohan. Super Saiyan Gohan. Are oh, you trying to look to see? No, I won't say anything. Okay, last thing. Um, like I said, these are awesome mystery boxes. I'm going to end up more than likely picking up a couple more before the end of the weekend. And then we got Goku. So at least we got four different ones, so that's awesome. So, as you see, we had a heck of a day today. Uh, mystery box-wise, great. Um, I, If you're at MegaCon, go look for these guys. Like, And then show you this box. This is a Pokemon treasure box, or a Pokemon box. Pokeball, Pokemon box. They have all kinds of different um, boxes there. Uh, as you see, I recommend these guys. Two, two different ones, a lot of different stuff. 
Uh, tomorrow is Saturday at MegaCon, so it is cosplay day. So. Uh, Love those lovely, lovely legs, Mama. So be on the lookout. You're gonna see different ones, and I hope to see you all there. If not tomorrow, I hope to see you Sunday. But until then, uh, I'll have I'll have more mystery boxes tomorrow. I promise you. Four days worth of mystery boxes, all from different uh, vendors. So, we will do that. I'll have them. So, until tomorrow, I will see you guys later. Peace out. Uh, I'm hungry. I want some dinner. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.